Hello there, and welcome. And today I would like to show you the simplest thing, the first thing you should learn when you learn any program. Of course, that's Hello World. And let's just get into it. Love.graphics.print brackets quotation marks hello world now control s to save and let's run that what do we get nothing why do we get nothing well that's because we have to say love dot gra love dot graphics we have to say function function love dot draw and then our two brackets and then end that control s and there you have it hello world and that's our tutorial for today if that's all you wanted to learn well there you have it and we're done but i wanted to show you a couple more things first of all let's just say we wanted to say hello world and we wanted to say hello people we could do this love dot graphics love dot graphics print the brackets there the quotations hello people people control s to save and what do we get ha isn't that great we get hello world and hello people right on top of each other you can see it hello is the same but they're right on top of each other so after a print statement there are a few arguments that we can enter right now hello world is printing at zero zero by default so let's just leave hello world at zero zero that's our x and our y axis right there and um let's keep our x axis the same but our y-axis at 50 control s to save and there we have it hello world hello people that's good enough it's good enough there are more that we can do more arguments to add after your x and your y-axis we will come across the rotation of this string that is being printed, um, but it's in radians and not at angles. So I don't think I can put 90 in here. Uh, at the top over here, I'll just put in one for the rotation. Control S, and let's take a look at what happens. Yeah, hello world. Is You see that the, the rotation does work, um, but it's not angles. Now. There is a calculation to get radians turned into degrees. But um, just so you know that that rotation does work. But if we want to get to the arguments that exist after the rotation, we don't want to put zero in there because, because we don't. Let's take a look what will happen, actually. Let's control S. Yeah, zero works as, as well as nil does, but I prefer to put nil. That's what I got used to. Now, after that would be the scale. We have the uh, scale for your x-axis. We're going to put that at 1. Your scale for the y-axis, let's put that at 1. And then for hello world at the top, we're going to put 2. That's the x-axis. In fact, let's not do that. Let's put um, the x-axis for hello world at 2 and the y-axis at 1. And that's a that's a 1 to 1 ratio means no change to the scale. So what we should see is uh, hello people regular and hello world will be stretched. And there you have it. Our X axis scale is stretched a little bit. So that means we can take this and, and put two and maybe we'll put this to three. So now we're scaling it up X and Y equally, meaning we're just making the words larger. And that didn't work because I didn't press control S to save. Now we have this. As you can see, as it does get larger, it gets a little blurry. Um, 
like it's not exactly printed on the pixels. We're gonna get to that in just a moment. One more thing is love.graphics.setColor. Inside of here, inside the brackets, three numbers represent R, G, B, red, green, and blue. So we're gonna want Hello World to be red. We will, oh, the scale is not zero to 255 as one might expect. It's actually zero to one. So I will put red at one, that's full blast right there. Uh, G, which R, R, G, R, G, B, the green will go halfway. And for the blue, we'll say zero. Now, this set color line will change the color of everything after it until we reset the color back to the default, which I believe is um, zero, zero, zero. So that means that both Hello World and Hello People will be this color we just uh, typed in. And it's a weird kind of orange. Let's call it gold. So if I wanted Hello People to be different, I would actually have to go in love.graphics.setColor. And let's just go backwards, eh? Zero, zero point five and one. And say control S to save. Now we've gotten two different colors. Everything after this line, this set color that created our blue, everything after that would also be blue because it becomes a uh, global. It'll, it'll wrap all the way around to the next time a different color is set. But for now, this is good enough. We've, we figured out how to enlarge, rotate, position, and scale our text. Next, I'm going to add our function love.load and then put the end. And here, what I'm gonna do is type my fonts equals love.graphics.new font brackets. And um, I don't think you're gonna put quotations in this one. I have actually gone to a website and downloaded a font. Let me show you what that looks like. The website is called dafont.com. And watch out here because these fonts, most of them are free for personal use. If you aim on creating a game or an application and uploading it for sale, it's gonna be a bad day when they find out and sue you for it, probably taking all of your meager profits along with you. So yes, you can use these that say free for personal use if you're prototyping, if you're playing around, but um, it's best to find one that's completely free to use or go ahead and put your money down for a spectacular font. And um, so da font, this is where we download those fonts. You can find them anywhere else. Let me stop talking about that here. Yeah. So TTF stands for True Type Font. And in here, the font that I decided to download is called Mahaputra.ttf. And then down here, in front of all our text, I'm gonna put love.graphics.set dot dot set fonts yes set font set fonts and the font we're going to set is my font when i say control s this should change what we got oh oh <coughs> in the main dot lua line two attempt to index a global mahaputra and nil value let's take a look at what i did wrong there i spelt it correctly i believe mahaputra capitalization front dot ttf so i think we might have to put this in quotations let's take a look and now control s to save there we go Goodness, that is terrible. So our font does work. It's really blurry though. Why? Because we scaled up down here in our print functions. 
and scaling up causes that blurriness. Now, control S, what do we got? A lot cleaner, but minuscule. So instead of setting the scale at the bottom to get the size that we want, we go up to where we've called our font, comma, I'm gonna put 15 in there for now. Control S and <laughs> it's larger, but not a lot larger. So we'll make it 150. There we go, oh, there you go. Now very large, a little bit overlapping, but very sharp. And you can see now, if you go online and type in how to enlarge text in Lua, Love 2D, you're gonna find that folks very much skip over the scaling. Sorry, it sounds like gunshots outside. Anyway, so it's difficult to find how to enlarge your text without getting into the fonts because getting the font and using that to scale up your text makes a lot, a lot better looking text in the end there. And, um, and that's important. So this video really was to show you the arguments that you can use in the print statements. And again, I'll go over it. You got your X axis and your Y axis for positioning. You have your rotation in radians and not degrees. Then you have your scaling. Now the scaling is gonna be a lot more useful, a lot more fun when you start playing with images, images and shapes. Um, you wouldn't have to worry about that blurriness. I and mean, it's great to shrink uh, an image down or to enlarge it just a little bit to fit the rest of everything. Um, it's also a good idea to start downloading uh, fonts or finding these font files for the fonts that you enjoy, that work, that please your eye, that work for your projects. Um, I mean, I could keep going, you know, there's a lot more to talk about, but that's all I wanted to show you. I have shown it to you, and I hope to see you again in another video. Thank you.